Hi and welcome to a new Crypto Rabin episode. I am Alex and today we are going to take a look at Syntropy, an alternative connectivity system for the public internet that aims to solve the issues of the current internet framework. We will cover some of its features and how it works. For more crypto information and education, you can find us on the Cryptomatics YouTube channel. We'll leave the links in the description below and in the pinned comment. To understand Syntropy's solution, we must first take a look at the problems of today's internet framework. Several factors make it inefficient and unreliable, including the misaligned economic incentives, the lack of outbound routing control, as well as the reliance on third-party security. Needless to say that today's internet is highly centralized. Network routing is controlled by governments and large companies that provide infrastructure for the internet. All this leads to security, governance, privacy and resource utilization issues. Entropy is generally defined as the tendency towards complexity and therefore as chaos and randomness. Syntropy can be seen as its opposite, namely balance and symmetry, and that's what Syntropy aims to achieve, order within randomness. The internet it envisions is syntropic and doesn't require a complete replacement of the current internet. What Syntropy does is come up with a technology that is compatible with the current internet infrastructure and its protocols. As we will see, this technology uses the underlying infrastructure and its strengths as it operates on top of it. However, it does so while removing bottlenecks and incorporating optimization and security by default. As described by the team, Syntropy delivers a new connectivity layer for the internet that bridges the gap between Web 2 and Web 3. It combines blockchain technology, encryption and optimized routing to provide a more user-centric and secure internet experience. Simply put, it aims to decentralize the internet without sacrificing compatibility with the current protocols and to enable people to govern the internet. Syntropy seeks to facilitate a self-regulating bandwidth economy so that everyone can monetize their connectivity. In short, in this overlay network, Bandwidth resources can be shared between all participants in a decentralized way using a cryptographic token. Basically, a device such as a PC, an Internet of Things device or a virtual private server can connect to the Syntropy network and share its bandwidth with other nodes. A digital token economy and the pay-per-use pricing model can thus enable this open internet economy while aligning goals between all internet participants, namely internet service providers, content providers and users. The tokenization of bandwidth resources not only ensures that incentives are better aligned for all participants, but also makes it possible to create high-value connections in a cost-effective way. To achieve all of the above, Syntropy comes with an innovative combination of technologies. One of them is the Decentralized Autonomous Roaring Protocol, or DARP. Developed by Syntropy, this protocol makes it possible for nodes to connect into an encrypted, secure and automatically optimized virtual mesh network that acts as an alternative connectivity layer. One of its advantages is that it removes the third-party security risk associated with the use of a certificate or cloud service provider. Since all communication is end-to-end -end encrypted using WireGuard technology and only the endpoints themselves can decrypt their messages, it establishes user-owned security instead. To address the performance problems of the currently used internet routing protocols, DARP was designed to optimize the mesh network to obtain only the best performing and most stable connections based on route latency, node uptime, packet loss and bandwidth capacity. Once connected to the internet, the user can query the system for better alternatives to the public internet path between source and destination via the Syntropy network. Therefore. This network ensures trustless, encrypted connectivity and performance services for a wide variety of applications and use cases. 
As we've said, Syntropy is a combination of internet routing and blockchain technology. And the Syntropy chain is an enterprise-grade blockchain build on Substrate for network security and performance management. It implements the nominated proof-of-stake consensus, which is a hybrid one that includes two parts, Grandpa, ghost-based recursive ancestor deriving prefix agreement, and Babe, blind assignment for blockchain extension. Within the Syntropy network, payments and validity of service delivered are confirmed and governed by this consensus. Then there's the Syntropy stack, a collection of tools and libraries that will enable non-professional users, developers, and DevOps to fully automate the deployment of their applications on the Syntropy network. It helps establish secure and globally optimized connections between any two or more machines instantly. So anything that can connect to the internet can connect through Syntropy, including devices and applications alike, such as Internet of Things networks, decentralized protocols, services, and data center infrastructures. This makes Syntropy suitable for many applications, including blockchain, gaming, Internet of Things, and DevOps applications. Syntropy has already launched several integrations with Chainlink, Polkadot, Ethereum, Ethereum 2.0, Bitcoin, as well as an official integration with Elrond, and many more are coming. Syntropy network participants can have one of the following roles. Relay nodes. They share and monetize their internet connection. Validators. They validate and monetize their computer power. As part of their role, they stake tokens, produce and finalize blocks, collect transaction fees, earn interest on the tokens staked by nominators, and share part of these rewards with them. Nominators. They nominate validators, stake tokens, and bind their stakes to validators, for which they earn interest. The Syntropy token is Noya, an ERC20 token, which serves as gas for connectivity over the network. So all the data and connections sent through any device are accounted for in tokens. It has a maximum supply of 1 billion Noya coins. The token plays a central role as it unlocks the trustless advantages of Syntropy. The ways Noya is used can be grouped as follows. User utility, Noya is used for transaction fees for using the Syntropy chain and as the direct means of crediting bandwidth suppliers with tokens from bandwidth users. And network utility, Noya is utilized for network governance through the NPOS consensus protocol, network security through financial staking, and support measures for network growth. So the Noya token derives value from the usage of secure and optimized internet traffic. It is listed on several exchanges, including KuCoin, Uniswap, Bancor Network, Nash, and Gate.io. Syntropy was founded by Jonas Simanavicius, Domas Povalaskas, William B. Norton, and Domantas Yuskunas. The team comprises over 50 members with experience in network architecture, software engineering, marketing, financial analysis, and management. For example, William B. Norton, Syntropy co-founder and chief technical liaison, previously worked as the manager of the Internet Engineering Group at Merit Networks, University of Michigan, and was a chief scientist in Console Connect Incorporated. Jonas Simanavicius, who is co-founder and CTO at Syntropy, previously worked as an associate applications developer at JP Morgan Chase & Company. You can find more about the work experience of each team member on the project's official website. We will leave the link in the video description. The project also benefits from the support and expertise of several strategic advisors, including Roman Pesowitz, Executive Chief Product Officer at AT&T, and Sean Heckel, a partner at Microsoft and former Senior VP at Verizon. Tech veteran Jeffrey Lacouture also joined Syntropy as Chief Revenue Officer earlier this year. The project benefits from a strong community, having reached over 33,000 followers on Twitter, 10,000 members on Telegram, and 11,000 followers on Facebook. Syntropy has partnered with prominent names such as Microsoft, Oracle, Invictus, eShelter, and Maven 11 Capital. 
This year's summer brought important achievements as Synthropy released Bitcoin integration to accelerate blockchain adoption, integrated with Ethereum 2.0 for improved node infrastructure, and added Team Fortress 2 to its growing list of gaming integrations. Synthropy also released recently the Ember Chain, a proof of authority version of the Synthropy chain, thus being one step closer to the launch of the Synthropy blockchain. With the initial development phase behind, the team members are working on releasing several features and upgrades, as well as on a complete roadmap for the upcoming year. According to their Medium page, Syntropy will launch its staking dashboard this month and release a Syntropy stack update. Syntropy is an innovative project that aims to provide companies and people worldwide with an all-encrypted, performance-focused internet. It combines technologies that increase internet connection speeds more than tenfold and considerably improve security and privacy. Syntropy operates on top of the public internet and is completely open, providing access to the network via a web-based platform. Given that all connections are encrypted, the software stack runs directly on top of the public internet and no extra hardware is needed. Synthropy's use cases come in plenty and span multiple industries. Even though it still has important milestones to reach, this project is worthy of attention. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in the latest news and reviews of the crypto space, you can find us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and Telegram. We'll leave the links in the description below and in the pinned comment. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the bell to be notified whenever we publish a new video. Join us and stay up to date.